Home. All right. Hello, Don't everyone. And Button. in this video, we'll be having a look at another browser app for Dolby Atlas compatibility on Fire Stop. Tablet. Button. We will explain Stop. that later on Clear in the video, though. But it is fairly important. Button. So if you are Tap interested, Please subscribe to the channel and actually I would advise you to subscribe to the channel because we will be looking at some browsers, more browsers for Dolby Atmos compatibility on Fire Tablet. So, so that is that. So, as you know, we always do, as you know, we do quite a lot of browsers and we often remark on how these browsers tend to change their name prior and after installation and as you can see we've got two apps that are labeled browser and first of all although we are only going to look at one I must admit it would be nice if they had the you know name of the browser so such as um, you know Kiwi browser or whatever because when you just see browser you obviously know it's a web browser, but it would be nice if there was some sort of identity to it. So we'll be looking at the browser on the left. And again, I will find out the name so I can put it in the description. Okay, so you've got like a URL at the... In the address bar, and there is no tutorial because some browsers have like a tutorial, but this one doesn't. And again, this is not the only one that doesn't have a tutorial, quite a few do, uh, don't have a tutorial as well. There is no noticeable home page, so this looks like your basic search browser and again it would be nice if you had a home page so you can look up current affairs and it couldn't be more important now as you all know the coronavirus so it's going to be even more critical if you you know just open the browser and glance at the headlines and all that lot you've got a back and forward next to the more options as you can probably see and we're seeing that in quite a few browsers now, including the Rocket Browser and Fast Browser and others. And browsers like Google Chrome, I think they would have it on the left to the address bar as opposed to the right. And again, it would be nice if the back was to the left and the forward was to the right because, again, Sign in. More options. Forward. More options. I think that's probably down to personal preference though but it would be a good idea if you know that layout was incorporated so we're in the more options now new incognito tab share history 4 at 12 and you have got a copy link and we've got a reader mode and again this is another thing that we are seeing commonly in browsers a copy link and a reader mode but not a desktop site now the desktop site sort of requests a desktop view on your tablet or mobile device and not only that it can change the website's behavior which is particularly useful if you want to add cards to your YouTube videos because you can sort of trick the YouTube studio in thinking that you're visit visiting on a computer when actually you're on a tablet and not only that you can't add cards via YouTube studio on the web when the mobile site is on nor can you do it in the Android app so that is that and actually based on that note it would be nice if it was there at all times so you can determine the site's behavior beforehand you got book you got general settings bookmark settings display settings 
And again, bookmark settings and display settings is again another common thing that we are finding. Now, as you can probably see, that it's in a long list on the Fire, on the Fire tablet. And the reason why I say that is, if you do decide to install this browser on a Chromebook, then it might present itself as a split screen view where the general sections are to the left and the relative content to the right so because we're not having a split screen view here due to the nature of this device then you no know, just be taking that into account and again if that is the case this is not the only browser that does it because Firefox browser does it and I think the is it the Ghost 3 browser or the Rocket browser? I'm not too sure. We have had a look at lots of browsers, so it is easy to lose track, but Advanced, that is that. We're going to have a look in the Advanced sec Settings now. Enable cookies. Rendering moding. Rendering mode. And you've got URL box contents, which again is another common thing that we're seeing in these browsers. But also what is common is no accessibility mode and no night mode. Now the night mode filters out certain colours which can hinder the sleep hormone melatonin and that is why you need to turn on night mode you know, before you go to bed. And not only that, if a browser does have night mode, it's a good backup if your device does not have a night mode, like my Galaxy Tab A 9.7. However, if your device does have one, such as this Fire Tablet, I will suggest turning both on. So both the night mode and the browser Back. and the device. Back. Now, as I said earlier, we are testing this browser not only in layout, but whether it is compatible with your Dolby Atmos system on Fire Tablet. Now, if you play YouTube videos on your Fire Tablet via the YouTube app compared, compared to a browser, you would notice that the app gives you a richer sound compared to the browser, but most people might want to play YouTube videos in the browser because they like the feel of a browser. And I must admit, I do like playing YouTube videos in browsers so I can use the jump commands, like skip from one percentage to the other. But what lets these browsers down is there is no rich sound and we have been testing these browsers to see you know, what gives you good sound quality and what doesn't. Now if you are interested, Opera Mini, Opera Mini Beta, the Fast Browser and the Rocket Browser are the browsers that do give you very good sound quality on Fire Tablets which therefore means it's compatible with Dolby Atmos. And we want to see whether this browser is among them which is compatible or not. Which is why we advise you to subscribe because I'm sure you would have the same question like, as I did. So let us watch some videos once I get myself set up. Right, what I might do is I might cut the video while I get a video up and running and then once we've done that we will be back with you. Alright folks, we're back with you now and I managed to get up this video. Now if you do use Quest OD on your Fire Tablet via this browser and if you are a screen reader user like myself if you use the double tap action it seems to tap twice, click twice on the icon when actually it should only click once and if you do tap once to prevent that from happening you won't complete the action 
Now we're going to turn the volume up and give this video a listen. And the sound does sound quite good, which therefore tells us that this is compatible with Dolby Atmos. I'm not too sure whether you can hear the richness of the sound, but this browser certainly joins the list of browsers which are compatible with Dolby Atmos sound. In conclusion, this browser is an okay browser. It's fairly basic, but it does need quite a few things doing to it. First of all, there needs to be a home page where you can check your social media feeds and look at current affairs with a glance. And also there needs to be a desktop site in the more options menu along with a night mode. And there also needs to be an accessibility section excuse me with with a simplified view icons and probably options for adjusting the night mode like the Kiwi Speech browser up. has Stop. well Button. what I'll do is I'll get the details of this browser so I'll list that in the description so you, it is easier to find a compatible Dolby Atmos browser and Thanks for watching, hope you've enjoyed this video and we'll see you soon.